What's going on, Gemini Knights? Gem Mint here with another statue unboxing and review. This time we have the Superman vs. Batman diorama by Sideshow. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing, so I'm excited to open this one up. Before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a video. And we're giving away a Spider-Man premium format once we hit our next subscriber milestone of 125k. Stick around till the end and I'll give you more details on how to enter. All right, let's jump into the unboxing here. So there's a compartment on the bottom that we're gonna open up first. And as you can see, it has the two fabric capes. First, we have the Superman cape, which is more of a cloth fabric, uh, a little bit of a thinner material. It's got the golden yellow Superman logo on the back and that's kind of like a rubbery feel to it. Uh, then looking on the inside, very similar. It does have wires on the edges so that you can pose it. So there we go, that's Superman's cape. Now we'll take a look at the Dark Knight's cape, and this is a thicker leather-like material. It looks like it's a higher quality than the Superman cape. Also has wires in it. You can see that it has this leather texture to it, and then on the inside it has more of a cloth material. It's got the traditional kind of spiked bottom cape, which I like, and that's the Batman cape. Now let's take the lid off the top, we'll get all the plastic off, and we'll start by taking a look at the base. So here's the bottom of the base. You can see this is number 871 out of 1000. This is the exclusive. I really like the silhouette of this statue. I think it looks nice. I always like these Sideshow Dios ever since my first Sideshow pre-order Wolverine vs. Hulk maquette. And then you have the Fortress of Solitude base. I really think they did a great job here because it has different materials. You have some translucent resin on the top, and then you have some polystone on the bottom with a high gloss finish. And then I like the color scheme too. You have the dark blue, then it gets into the lighter baby blue color. Taking a look at Superman himself, the sculpt is great. I love how you can see the muscle details through his costume. That looks awesome. The paint applications look great. I like that pose with his arm cocked back. You can see that's where his head will key into. He's got his red underwear and then his red boots, which have more of a shinier finish to them. I like how the detail. You can see the folds in the boots here by his ankles. It goes uh, the bottom of his foot, which is not all the way detailed. And the other foot has the peg with the key. Uh, the back muscles look great. And I'm really digging the colors here. Spot on. All right, moving over to Batman here. So the key is in his thigh. And then same great muscle detail. I think they did a great job on the anatomy of both of these guys. His costume has great light gray to dark gray tones. The key you can see has a magnet which will go in and it'll notch into his belt. There goes his boots. You have that black leather. And then the tread is sculpted all the way on both feet because you will be able to see these once they're displayed. Got the shiny black pants, the yellow utility belt, also great muscle detail on the back as well. And then the keyhole for the head. All right. Let's put him to the side now and let's take a look at Superman's hands. So his right fist looks great. I think the, the paint applications are very lifelike with the skin detail. It has different hues and it really has a great flesh tone look to it. The fingers are sculpted perfectly. It's a great looking fist. And then he has his left hand with his hand open. You can see the attention to detail in his fingertips. It almost goes from like a peach to a pinkish tone. Very realistic and I'm kind of surprised because it's a little bit of a smaller scale than what we typically review. It's more of a one fifth scale. So those are the hands. Let's take a look at Batman's hand. His right hand has a batarang in it. I think they did a great job on the spikes right here on the side of his glove. You can see the tendons in his wrist. The fingers look great. Uh, of course, the batarang looks great as well. You have this black finish to it, but it has silver around the tips, so it gives you that, that illusion that it's sharp. That looks great. And then when we take a look at his left hand, uh, the left hand looks awesome. He's got the fist balled up. Same great detail with the spikes on the side of the gauntlet, uh, but he's got this big kryptonite ring. They got the glow painted on his hand, so it really looks like it's lit up. Uh, the fist sculpt is perfect. The knuckles there and the tendons in his hand. Awesome, and I love that it gives him a fighting chance against Superman. Looking at the portraits, uh, the portraits look great. I think they look a little bit better in person than how they're showing up on camera, maybe because it's so close or it's maybe the lighting, but you can see the muscle detail in his neck. I think that looks perfect. The hair looks great. Even around the bottom of his hair, you can see they painted like little hairs, so it's not just a rounded, sculpted, like taper. 
He's got different kind of colors on his hair too, almost like a blue highlight. Uh, and I think it looks good, man. The eyes look good. They're on point. You got the little hair curl. And then uh, my favorite portrait, the exclusive, because I'm a huge fan of Superman in rage mode. I like how they were able to have the eye blast extended outward. A lot of times you see it just painted. So I thought that was a nice touch. A little bit risky as it could be fragile to ship. But as you can see, mine are intact. And I think they look great. This one, he has his mouth open. He's screaming. He's yelling at Batman. He's about to blast his head off. So uh, I like how it has a different look than the other portrait. And lastly, let's talk about Bruce Wayne's portrait. So I really like how it gives me like Alex Ross vibes. I do think that it's being overexposed on camera. I think that it has a better paint tone than what it looks like right here. It doesn't look as pale and it does have a nice blend from like a five o'clock shadow to like a flesh tone. I think it has, like I said, that classic Alex Ross look uh, and I think it looks great. I like how he's raging out too. He's ready to pound on Superman with the kryptonite ring. Uh, and it looks awesome. Let's go ahead and put it together, guys. So the Fortress of Solitude base, we're going to go ahead and key Superman in. And I saw that it wasn't flush here, so you want to just try to push down a little bit. You can see that it slides in a little bit better. Let's go ahead and plug Superman's fist in. And then we'll swing on over to his left hand and plug in his outstretched hand. All right. Now here's the tricky part. Fabric cape. So this one has like a little magnet system that you fold over the collar, but it's a little bit hard to get in. Now this piece is a little bit older, 2019, and I think that Sideshow has been getting better with their fabric capes over time. Uh, but this one was a little bit of a struggle. Like you try to kind of hold it together and plug it in, but it's a little bit thick, so it looks like it's sitting up a little bit. You just kind of got to find that right sweet spot. Uh, and then you got to mess with the wires to pose it. All right, now that we have Superman together, we're going to slide the key of Batman's thigh into Superman's side and then line up Superman's wrist, which has a key that notches into the front of Batman's utility belt. So there we go. They're keyed in together. We're going to stick Batman's right hand in, and then we're going to go swing around for his left hand. Now we got the hands in there, and then uh, a little bit of a better cape with Batman. It's just got an open hole that you stick the key through. But again, it does still feel pretty difficult to get it to sit flush. It has a thicker material than Superman's. But um, once you get it there, it seems to be all right. Uh, again, you want to pose it, get the wires together so you get that good look. And here we go. We have the battle of all battles. Batman versus Superman. Batman's got the high ground. Superman's got the power. But get him pissed off. And he's going to bust out the eye lasers on you. <laughs> I love that look, man, and it definitely looks like Batman's in trouble looking at this pose right here, even with the kryptonite ring, because Superman's got those eye beams aiming for his dome. We got to give a big shout out to the artists Steve Lord on the sculpt, Adam Smith, Bernardo Esquivel, Chris Anaka, David Ego, Richard Long, and Andrew Huerta. This piece is just a little bit over 23 inches tall, about 16 inches in width and 16 inches in depth. It's still available on Sideshow right now for $6.99, or you can get the collector's edition, which doesn't come with the eye laser portrait, for $6.85, and that one has an edition size of $2,000. All right, guys, there we have it, the Superman vs. Batman diorama. It's a piece that I've wanted ever since I first saw it at, I think, San Diego Comic-Con 2019. Finally got it in the house. I don't know if it was just I wasn't collecting one-fifth scale or dioramas. I just never got around to picking it up. Uh, so I'm a little late to the party on this, but I'm still excited to have it here. Yeah, the mixed media fabric capes, I know that it's not everybody's favorite, and it can get a little tricky with posing them or even getting them to sit right. But, um... I still think it came together at the end, and it's a great-looking piece. Let me know what you think about the Superman vs. Batman Dio in the comments down below. Also, like I said, we're giving away a Spider-Man Premium format by Sideshow once we hit 125,000 subscribers. All you got to do is be subscribed and comment on this video and any other video where we promoted the giveaway. Once we hit the milestone, we'll do a live stream and we'll pick a random video where the giveaway was promoted and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. 
If you want to support the channel in other ways, check out our sponsor, Street Level Hero, who have amazing exclusive variants with new drops every Tuesday and Thursday. If you use the code GEMMINT at checkout on any order, you'll save 10% and you can use that code anytime you shop there. That is good for life. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, but don't go anywhere. Check out my other statue unboxings in the playlist to the left and stay minty fresh. Peace.